How to get a woman to come crawling back to you. Fellas, if you're watching this video, it probably means you've had a woman either ghost you, break up with you, or just pull back completely. And when I mean pull back completely, I mean, you know, she's not talking to you anymore. Um, you can't contact her, those kinds of things. If she's done this stuff, then you need to follow the steps that I'm going to give you and she will come crawling back. Because I'm a 32 year old guy, I've had a lot of women reject me, pull away from me, and I've had a lot of women come back to me. And it's because I did the steps that I'm telling you about in this video today. If you miss a step and do this, like it doesn't work. So you have to follow the steps, all right? So we're gonna get into step number one, which is to put the focus back on yourself. What you have to understand is that when a woman ghosts you, when she rejects you, when she breaks up with you or pulls back completely, it means that she has made a bet on you. She thinks that you're a bad investment for her time. The only way to change your mind about that is to level yourself up and make yourself a better investment. If you act like the same guy who she ghosted, then you're not gonna get her back. She's not gonna come crawling back to you. What too many guys fail to realize is that by you chasing her, by you over texting, by you continuing to try and logically convince her, you're not convincing her of anything. You're showing her that you're still that guy. Would a high value guy really belittle himself that much to go after someone who has clearly rejected him? The only reason why you would do that is because you think that you would never ever be able to get someone like her again. And quite frankly, if you're a high value guy, you should be able to have other options than just this one person. Even if it was completely her fault, right? You gotta have standards for yourself. So by you over texting, you're proving to her again and again that she made the right decision by leaving you, by not texting you, by ghosting you. So what you need to do is you need to put the focus back to level yourself up. Make yourself into a better partner. Increase your mate value. Whatever you're doing, make yourself more successful at it. Level your life up in all the areas that someone would look at and say, wow, damn, this guy's a great catch. He's a great person to date. I talk about it all the time on this channel and it's something that I work individually on with each of my clients. I show them what they're weak on, what they need to improve on, and what they need to do to get to that point to get the kinds of women that they want to get, okay? So if you start putting the focus back on yourself, then you can start the process to eventually have her come crawling back to you. So thing two is gonna be, uh, you wanna stop engaging with her, okay? What you have to understand is that if a woman has done this, by you continuing to engage with her, you are showing her that she can just disrespect you, leave you, and continue to get free attention from you. So I'm talking like, you're checking out her stories, you're liking all of her posts. You wanna get her out of sight and out of mind. I don't want you to block her though. If a woman ghosted you and you block her, like she will probably see that, she'll tell her friends, and then it really makes you look like you care too much about this whole thing. A guy who's actually leveling up is more excited about that and he doesn't really feel the need to do that. But what I would do is I would on Instagram, you can mute people. So the stories don't pop up, um, but they're still a follower of yours. So do that, it's gonna be a lot better for you, okay? Out of sight, out of mind. And then you can put the focus back on yourself. But by you continuing to give her free attention, you are showing her continuously that you have not leveled up. You are still the same guy she left. Step three is going to be use pain to fuel your growth. If it was a bad breakup, if it was a harsh rejection, or maybe you got your hopes up a lot for this particular woman, it can hurt. I know so many guys, myself included, that have gone through some of the worst pain they've ever felt, and it was because of a woman. For me, it was because of women, plural. I had a lot of women that hurt me real bad. And every single time that happened, I went through an extreme pain period. I went through a period where like, I was thinking about her constantly, I couldn't sleep, I was anxious all the time. But you know what that fueled? It fueled an incredible amount of growth. I have never been more motivated than after I have been hurt, when I am in pain. Pain fuels action. Anxiety, the only way to get rid of anxiety is through action. And this is really where you level up. Every man should go through this. But most guys, when they go through a really tough period, they don't make it. They wallow in self-pity. It takes them way too long to get out of it. And the reason why is because they're not doing the steps that we talk about. The only way for you to get out of this is through you. It's not through her. Screw her. 
Focus on you. Put the focus back on yourself and make you into the man that you can be proud of, where you can look at her and you're so excited about the things that you're doing right now that you don't even have time. Like the thought of her going back to that thing that hurts you is ludicrous to you because the things that you're doing right now are so amazing. You're being successful. You're around people that you really like. You're dating women that are freaking awesome that you're excited to see. Those are the kinds of things that once you start doing that where you don't even remember, where you're not even thinking about her, guess what happens? That's when she starts to come back. That's when she crawls back to you, slides into your DMs. Hey, how's it going? Been a while. You know, those kinds of things. But it doesn't happen before. Unless you level yourself up, she will never come crawling back. So you have to use this pain as motivation to fuel your own growth. And the only way it will work is if your growth actually happens. Four, if you do encounter her, which chances are if you have similar friend circles, if you live in the same area, you probably will encounter her at some point. Now when this happens, I don't want you to be overly aggressive or mean or like, you know, just completely pretend like she doesn't exist or whatever. And I also don't want you to go over the top in the other direction, which is, you know, walking up to her and be like, oh my God, hi, I missed you. Like, how's it going? Like, we should hang out sometime. If she sees that, she's gonna know you haven't changed and she's gonna know that she made the right call and it will never ever work. Trust me guys, I've made this mistake so many times, right? What you wanna do is you wanna be nice, you wanna be cordial, but you don't wanna be overly nice or overly um, affectionate or like trying to meet up with her. You wanna just keep it to the point where you're like, hey, how's it going? Oh. Great, great to see you. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Anyway, hope things are going well for you. I'll see you later. That's it, that's all you gotta do, right? And if you do this, then she's gonna realize that, hey, wow, maybe he's doing great. He didn't feel the need to try and hit on me. She didn't feel the need to try and pick me back up. He didn't feel the need to do all of this stuff. Now, I say this, and if she was the one who rejected you, then yeah, that's the move. But if you were the one to do it, then it's, it's completely different. So I, I've coached a lot of guys to get back with their exes and it really depends on the situation. But most of the time, if you go in either one of these directions, it will not work, okay? So you've gotta go down the middle, be nice, be cordial, but you don't wanna be inviting her back in your life when she was the one who hurt you in the first place, right? She's gotta work for it. And that brings me into my fifth step, which is don't show off unnecessarily. So if you're leveling up, you've done a lot to improve yourself, it's very tempting to wanna to show all of this stuff off. And it's very tempting to wanna to show it off prematurely. Real growth takes time. And if two days after she rejected you, you're like with a bunch of random girls that you literally just met and you're posting stories of that or taking photos of it, you look stupid, okay? Women do this all the time after a breakup where they're like posting photos of them with their girls, with guys or whatever. They're like having the time of their life. They're finally finding themselves or whatever it is, you know, and it just like, Women see this and even they know it's corny. Like it makes them look stupid. It looks even worse when a guy does it. So what you wanna do is you wanna kinda advertise how things are going, but be, leave a little bit of mystery. Show things that you're actually working on to motivate yourself, okay? Show things that are like actually cool. Like if you're showing travel, don't be showing off these random girls that you're with. Actually show a cool experience that you're going on and live, let them wonder who you're doing that with. Let them wonder who you're hanging out with, that sort of stuff. So, but if you're doing it and you're making it so obvious that like you're trying to show off to them, then it looks tacky, okay? So be tasteful about it when you do this and less is more. Step six, and this is the final one. If she wants to come back in, she's got to work for it, okay? I've had so many guys who, when they do this, they let people back in way too quickly. And that was me, that was me. You know, as soon as a girl who I was interested in, she wanted to come back in, I would let her come back in right away. And guess what? She'd break up with me soon after again, okay? Uh, what you gotta do is you really gotta have your life set up where things are going on that are so great that for her to come back and insert herself into her life, she would have to work to get back in because she was the one who caused you pain in the first place. You're gonna regress by going back to her. She needs to make some changes within herself. I'm gonna tell you this. 99% of the guys that I coach, when they want to get back with somebody, it's usually not a great idea. They have to grow, and most of all, you have to grow too. That's the only time it works. I'm speaking to you as a guy who is currently dating a woman who, yes, we broke up. We were broken up for eight months, but we both grew out of it, and now we're back together, and we've been dating for years. So what you need to do is you need to level up yourself and make sure that she has done the same thing too. It can't happen that easy. 
people usually don't change nearly as much as you think they do and they don't change that fast. So if you let somebody back in, then you basically prove to her that you haven't changed. Why would you let anybody back in your life that hurt you that badly? It can't be easy. Yes, if you've seen potential and you think they can't, then they gotta work for it, okay? And it doesn't mean like, oh, you better do this or whatever. It means having conversations. It means observing their behavior. It means really protecting yourself and not changing the things that you've worked so hard to build to go back with this person. I have a client right now, every single hot girl he dates, he falls in love with, right? And he dated one over the weekend and um, you know they spent like a few days together and now he's thinking about her all the time, he can't get her out of her head, blah, 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 and now she's not texting him as much and obviously his neediness kind of drove her away. So what happens? He doesn't know when the next time he's gonna meet a woman like this is. So what he has to do is put the focus back on himself to do the things that we talked about. Now he's creating friendships. Now he's meeting more women. Now he's actually doing things that he feels proud of, getting himself in shape, being more successful in his career, making strides in his life. And now he's so excited about his future, excited about the potential women he might be dating, now so excited about the person that he's becoming, that guess who decided to walk back into his life? That same girl. Now, what I did is I warned him. I was like, look, she's gonna try and come back in. She's gonna see that you're leveling up. Women have a funny way of keeping tabs on people, okay? And not 100% of the time, but most of the time, they will hear about it or see about it through the grapevine. Okay, and when they do, if they come back in, if you immediately just let them back in super quick and you ditch all that self-development that you've been doing, you're showing her that you're still that weak-minded person that she left and she's gonna leave you again. She's gonna ditch you, ghost you, go off, get distracted, who knows, but you have to maintain what you've built and above all, don't ditch it just because some one person wanted to come back in. And look, if you wanna learn how to develop this, which is what I've done for so many guys, most of the guys who I help have had a situation happen to them with a woman who like a lot of them want them to come back, but at the end of the day, they realize that the best thing that they can do for themselves is to make themselves better. That's why they come to me in the first place. I've helped out so many guys. So if you want to be one of those guys who have helped out, then click the link in the bio, fill out the coaching form. And if you're a great fit, then we'll talk. And you can be one of the hundreds of guys that, uh, that I've completely changed in the past as well too. Thanks for watching you guys. Good luck out there.